Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is the Commando Cast, a video cast about all things Star Wars Destiny. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hello my friends, and welcome to Dice Commando and the Commando Cast. I'm Andrew with you here as always, wishing you a happy holidays, and hoping that whatever you celebrate or choose not to is going in the way that you want to. Hopefully you have some time to enjoy it with friends, family, and or loved ones. And you know what? Because we're gamers, hopefully you're getting some games in, even if it's some of those silly party games. Lord knows I enjoy those as well. So this week we're looking at bubble characters in Star Wars Destiny, which I define as those characters that have been good in the past, or even today, are just really solid, really good on paper characters, but for whatever reason haven't found their way into the current meta. So thanks for joining me again today as we theorycraft on how we can make some of our old favorites good again. <laughs> Sale at the mall. Everything's half off. All right, guys. Welcome back to Bubble Week here on Dice Commando. Thanks for joining me again to talk about probably my favorite character out there, Maul Skull Duelist. I absolutely love this guy. He's just a lot of fun. You get a lot of dice rolling. It's kind of the unmitigatable. It's it's destiny, right? Like he's he's just a fantastic character. So to be completely fair, I don't know that Maul was ever strictly tier one. I do take a lot of credit and a lot of pride in development of the Maul Mando, Mandalorian Maul, I called it. Um, however, you know, that deck's dead with rotation. I mean, it's hard dead. It lost both pieces other than it lost the Mando, it lost Retribution. Retribution is extremely important with Maul. Um, but that's all gone, so we do, we, we're not talking about that anymore. So part of the reason that Maul... I, I haven't been playing a lot of Maul, and I think the reason... the not I think. The the primary reason I've been playing a lot of Maul is because I, I honestly believe the best place for Maul right now in this current meta lies with Order 66. Order 66. Um, we had seen some of that before. The, I think probably the best one for that was Newt Gunray. Right? It was Maul, Newt, and Order 66. You kind of had the choke thing, plus you had the mass removal, and you just kind of relied on Maul to push it through. They, I mean, it was an okay deck. It just wasn't quite as effective. You didn't have the dual threat like Mandalorian Maul did. But I, I do think that's really where he lies now. Uh, you know, the Mud Trooper is a great candidate. You do have... I personally like Maul with red because in, in, in today's meta. I, I like Mauls with red mainly because of Forsaken and Measure for Measure, specifically red troopers, right? And when I say... I mean, when I say red, most of the time you're taking the trooper because, like, you have Hask at 9, or... No, sorry, Hask is 10, 13. Probably should be 9, but... So Hask is 1013. You have the Mud Trooper again with Order 66. But the point is it gets you that one die out for Forsaken if you have it, or you can also measure for measure. It really brings a lot. Plus, there's a lot of other cool things you can do with red when you're protecting your big, primarily like best defense, under fire, stuff like that. So that's primarily where my head goes. Now, I have seen some interesting decks out there. Again, Order 66 usually. Uh, I've seen one with Marauder. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure what hero card they're using. Maybe it was maybe it was early on, and it was um, actually I, I I'm pretty positive that was CM meta. Now that I think about it, so that was that was easy picking. So scratch that one. I don't know necessarily what you'd want to bring today, but um, the, you know the advantage of going yellow would be to bring uh, Vibra Sword at this point, right? Because we we lose Dark Saber, but you could go Vibra Sword. But again, remember that's that's not gonna that's not going to do what you think it's going to do. And that's, of course, because Maul removes and Vibrasword only gets the bonus upon resolution, right? That's why you can take it out with, like, Forsaken or, or something like that. So let's go ahead and move into the actual, you know, chalk talk part of it. Uh, so let's let's talk, you know, like I said, I, I prefer Maul with red. I, we already talked earlier that Maul FN could be a thing, right? It, it gets you all the red stuff that you want. 
Now there's a push-pull there in that you need the resources for Fn, and of course if you're resolving resources on Maul, you're you're doing it wrong, right? You need to, I mean, he may as well have a second blank on that resource. You need to just roll threes with him. But you don't need a ton of money with Maul, right? I mean, he has no pay sides, he just rolls damage, and aside from conflicting with your removal, which you do have the guaranteed four zeros with Forsaken and Measure for Measure, now you can't completely count on those, of course, but you do have those at your disposal, so you do kind of get the money that you need with FN, but you're going to be relying primarily on overwrites, and of course, you know, hearkening back to the Mando, you're not pinging for the damage on the overwrite. So I think you're a little at risk there. Now you do run the advantage of, you know, you have Dooku Saber and Palpatine Saber for the two drops, plus, you know, Recovered Sith, which isn't amazing. But you do have, you know, in the case that you get Modifieds out there, Maul has Modifieds to pair with. I don't know that you're necessarily running like FN's Baton. I think you're probably just going Sonic Detonators if you're doing three drops. Uh, but, you know, the, the positive side of that is that Maul, I think, is still going to be the first target. So FN can... I mean, FN stands a reasonable chance of playing cleanup, whereas you wouldn't necessarily feel as confident to be running like a Mud Trooper or even like a Hask, right? So I, I think that deck has some advantages. So now let's talk running Mono Blue. Um, again, I'm trying to avoid the Order 66 discussion, but you know, I can't leave the Praetorian Guard out. He does have some built-in pseudo Guardian kind of. He has like a built-in Guardian Forsaken kind of, if you will. Uh, we can't leave him out. He would actually work quite well with Order 66. Now, that would only get you four copies of Execute instead of playing with red like the, the, the six copies. Um, but there there are some other options there as well. Now, now wouldn't it be cool if Terran was 10? I, I don't know about cool, but could you imagine if Terran was 10 and you could play these two together? Oh, my goodness. Um, but trying and pairing him, you know, I, I'm a huge anti-proponent of single die mall. I don't think that's a good idea. So you're pretty stuck when it comes to blue of you're just pretty stuck. There's there's not a lot of really good options there other than really just the guard. So and it wouldn't be good to get out of here without at least paying mention to second sister. So she in and of herself hasn't really found a home. She could bring some of the cool inquisitor stuff to the table with Maul. But primarily I think her her special with Maul is I'm actually I'm a little torn on whether it's good or not, right? I mean, obviously flipping him from a blank to a three and making it a four is really like that's really, really good. Right? On the other hand, like Maul's rolling damage most of the time, so like is it really like is using one die to get effectively like one, maybe two more, is that really worth it versus running somebody else? I don't know, that's an interesting discussion that I think we just have to play test out to see to see if it's worth it. I think really you'd be playing the second sister to bring something else to the table rather than for her special. I mean, let, let's be realistic, price, mall was never a thing, right? And, that, and that's effectively the same answer. So I don't know that second sister is necessarily the way to go there. So I think the question in the future really will be, does mall get a good nine or 10 point? But I mean, he doesn't, it doesn't have to be a 10. But basically, if you're playing an 8th and you're in order 6-6, six, six, and again, that's the conversation I'm trying to avoid. So wrapping up this conversation today, you know, I, I've touched on the order 66 thing. You guys know that that's not something I like to play against, against my friends, um, but it's certainly something to be considered for a competitive environment, absolutely. Um, I'm, you know, exploring options. I wanted to, at least in this, explore options that didn't involve order 66 just because of, of what it is and kind of what it brings to the table. Um, but right now, that's probably the, the best way to play Maul. And the, I mean, the fact is that there's a lot of ways to play around. I mean, the, the reason that orders, no, nothing's been done with Order 66 is because you can play around it, and it's relatively easy to do so. Um, as bad as it feels, it, it, you can play around it. So it's, I mean, it's not super attractive, right? So I think that's why Maul's sitting where he is. Let's hope that he gets something in the future. I am curious if anybody out there, specifically if you've been trying the uh, Maul FN, I haven't gotten that on the table yet. I'd be very curious to see how that goes for you. I'll probably be putting that together and trying it, but what other stuff have you uh, checked out on Maul? I mean, the guy's a lot of fun. One of my favorite characters. Really want to get him on the table. So definitely interested in hearing your feedback. So thanks, guys, for watching. We have one more in the Bubble series, and then we'll be through it for the holidays. And if nothing else, go Commando.